Hello, welcome to Code with Vijay. My name is Vijay Nath Vishwanathan. I am working as a senior software engineer and this is my personal blog codewithvijay.com. You can find me on LinkedIn, GitHub and uh, Twitter as well. So today we'll discuss uh, AWS CloudFront. Okay, so uh, what is what is CloudFront? Okay, so this is the definition. Amazon CloudFront is a global content delivery network that is CDN. I'll, I'll explain what CDN is, okay. So, uh, content delivery network service that accelerates delivery of your websites, APIs, video content, and other web assets through CDN caching. It integrates with other Amazon Web Services products to give developers and business an easy way to accelerate content to end users with no minimum usage commitments. So, Amazon CloudFront is nothing but CDN, okay, content delivery network. Okay, basically, what it what it does is it will speed up the delivery of your websites, okay, or APIs, uh, other contents like image files, video videos, okay, uh, or documents. So whenever a use, user trying to access uh, a website or or an image or other documents, what uh, CloudFront does is it will speed up you know uh, that process of fetching data from the server okay so what what is cdn what is content delivery network okay so this is the definition okay so let me do one thing before explaining what what cdn is i'll draw a quick picture and i'll show how it works without a cdn okay so say i have a file server which is located in india that is here okay so say i have users across multiple countries okay so when um, somebody access to get files from this server say the person trying to access the data from united states to here okay so every time uh, that user has to get data or user will get data only from this web server because we are not caching anything okay so think about the latency uh, you know it has to travel all the way because that's different content so you know that it has to travel through underground cables you know and the latency will be pretty high okay and like that so every time user will get data only from this server and latency will be pretty high okay basically you know uh, if the distance ing distance increases then you have to wait probably some time to get your data back and if uh, the data size is high then the latency will be high okay that's how it works without uh, CDN okay so now let's see what is CDN okay so CDN a content delivery network that is CDN is a system of distributed servers okay that is a network actually you know network of machines or network of servers that deliver web pages and other web content to a user based on the geographic locations of the user the origin of web page and the content delivery server okay so it means let me go back to uh, the same picture so the same example so a user is trying to get data from a file server which is located in, in india okay so first time he'll get the data from here and next time you know it will cache the data here okay so next time when user is trying to get the same data instead of going all the way from here to uh, here to here okay it will get data from here okay likewise other countries so we'll cache the data okay that will make uh, the process of getting data uh, pretty fast and the latency will be pretty low okay so depends on geographic locations uh, you know the data will cache or distribute to that particular server which is near to that geography okay so that's how CDN works okay so that is uh, CDN now let me introduce a few ter terminology you should know before you get into CloudFront so first oh the important uh, terminology is edge location okay so edge location is a location where content will be cached okay so that is not that is not uh, an 
AWS region. Okay, that's totally different. So this is the place you will, you know, AWS will cache your data. So when you, I'll, I'll in the next session, I'll show how to uh, set up CloudFront in AWS. Okay, then we will see how to uh, cache data or how we can uh, mention uh, the countries which need to cache data or the countries which you know we don't need to cache data all those things I'll explain in the next session okay so edge location is a place where you know AWS will cache its content okay uh, you know there are lot many edge locations uh, around the globe so if you go to uh, AWS site when you look at when you go to this uh, URL and when you look at the edge locations you can see edge lo network of edge locations you can see there are lot many lot many edge locations throughout the globe okay so all all these edge locations will cache data okay and uh, when user trying to access data next time after cache the data you know the process or the, or the speed of getting data will be pretty pretty fast so let me go back to the same picture that I have drawn before and uh, I'll show how you know edge location works and how it will cache data okay say user is trying to get uh, data and basically user from Australia uh, trying to get data from a si file server which is located in India okay so first time it will get data from uh, this file server okay say for example a video file Okay, so he'll get the data back here, okay, and uh, along with that, it will cache uh, that data here, okay. So, next time when you're trying to get data, instead of going all the way from you know, Australia to the file server in India, it will get data from this cache, okay. And this, this cache is nothing but an edge location. Okay, that's how it works. Next key terminology is uh, origin. Okay, so origin, you know, basically means where the file originated from. Okay, it can be an S3 bucket or EC2 in instance or say elastic load balancer, extra, extra. Okay, uh, say for, for an example, uh, I've created an, uh, created an S3 bucket, um, which is in, you know, located in India and uh, I'm uploading a file to my S3 bucket which is located in India and that is the origin then okay and say then I have uh, multiple edge locations uh, say one Australia and when you are trying to get data from uh, the origin for the first time so that origin is nothing but the S3 bucket in India and the user will get data back from the origin and that will cache in the edge location that is in Australia so S3 is nothing but you know but the origin of the file okay. and next terminology is a distribution so distribution is not, not nothing but a uh, collection of edge location or CDN which consists of collection of edge locations okay so these are the key term key terminologies you should uh, remember uh, before get you know get into CloudFront or how to before get into set up uh, CloudFront okay uh, during setup setting up the edge location we can uh, specify uh, TTL that is time to leave you know we can mention how long that uh, cache data should be uh, there in the edge location uh, you know uh, for an example say uh, I have an image in my file my, my file, se file server and uh, users across the globe will get data from that uh, you know particular file server that's the origin and that data will store in all edge locations and I'm going to upload uh, a new file uh, into my file server okay or I'm, or, or I'm updating my existing file so until it is crossing time to leave uh, users will not get uh, uh, the new data because you know uh, there is a time to leave uh, or there's a time that we will set up to refresh the cache again so until that time you know will users will get data from the same cache again but <coughs> you know uh, we can uh, forcefully clear all the cache in the edge locations but you know we have to pay for that uh, you know there's a there's an additional cost for that so uh, that's that's you know another terminology that is time <coughs> time to leave sorry um, uh, that's it for the theory of CrowdFront. Uh, in next next session, um, I'll 
do hands-on lab of lab on how to set up uh, CrowdFront. So thanks for watching. Uh, please reach out me if you have any doubt and please subscribe to get alert when I upload next video on uh, CrowdFront. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.